Hey guys, I've got a haul video for you today. I have purchased some new things and I've also received some new things in PR that I wanted to share with you. And the first thing I wanted to share with you is a box that I got from Necessaire and I am working with Necessaire on this video. I just love their products and they've just released a brand new product, which I believe is launching today. I'm so excited to share that with you. And they've also released a new product I want to say, gosh, I'm really losing track of time, but it's at least a couple weeks ago, probably a couple months ago at this point that I've been using and loving. So they've released a set on their website called the Daily Treatment, and it contains four full-size products, two of which are these new products that I'm talking about. So the other two products in the set are the body lotion and the body serum, two products that I've been using for a very, very long time. The body serum is a little bit newer than the body lotion. The body lotion I feel like I've been using for years. I can't even recall how many of these tubes that I've gone through. Both my husband and I love it. I love the fact that it's fragrance free. I have very sensitive eczema prone skin and as much as i love like you know a freshly fragranced you know body care item i really should be using fragrance free products it is just so much better for sensitive skin so i really love that about the necessary products they always have a fragrance free option they do have some fragrances if you're into that like eucalyptus which is so fresh smelling um, but i love that they have that fragrance free option so the body lotion has niacinamide in it which helps to restore and strengthen the skin surface it also i've noticed helps um with like pore size. It really helps in diminishing pore size, which is really, really wonderful. Um, so that's the body lotion. Again, this is a part of the daily treatment. And then the body serum is a great addition to the body lotion. I have extremely, extremely dry skin on parts of my body, not all over. And what I like to do is either mix the body serum in with the lotion and then just spread it all over, or I like to add the serum first to like the really dry parts of my body and then like put the lotion all over. And it just really, really helps like keep the moisture in on my skin. So that is the body serum, which I really love. And then the two newer products is the next serum. And the product that is releasing today is the sunscreen. So exciting. So let me talk about the next serum because I have been using this for uh, at least a couple weeks, like I mentioned, probably closer to a month. I've been using this obviously on my neck and also down towards uh, my chest. And I have these like horizontal lines on my neck, something I've been born with. It's not necessarily tech neck for me. It's not something I developed because I've just been looking down so much more these past few years. Um, but yeah, just something I've always had. And Ever since I started using this next serum, which I'll use uh, just as part of my regular skincare routine, morning and night, they have really diminished. I don't know if you guys have ever noticed that on my neck, but look how much more softened they are. And it is all due to this next serum. I have not used anything else on my neck. It is all on account of this neck serum. So this neck serum also has niacinamide in there, which is really great for, you know, strengthening your skin's barrier. But this also has rose water in there, which is rich in vitamin C. And this also has like five peptides, which really helps in like smoothing the skin. Um, so I've really been enjoying this neck serum. It has a really lovely texture too. It's not, actually, let me squeeze some out. It is not uh, too thick, but it's not too runny you know how some serums can be really really thin this is almost like a creamy serum so here is the texture of the next serum isn't that really nice um, but it absorbs really quickly so you can see it like running down my finger so it's a little bit uh lighter than like a lotion but like i said it's like creamier than like a straight up serum so really love the texture really love how it's been softening those horizontal lines on my neck and really, really been enjoying this again, day and night. And then the sunscreen. So this is um, a mineral sunscreen. It's SPF 30 and it has nano zinc oxide in there. So it's got a great like lotiony texture. Let me squeeze some out here. And it is not sticky. It's not greasy. It feels just like lotion. And what I've noticed is there's just a very minimal cast to it. It's because of the zinc oxide. Um, this is probably one of the best zinc oxides I have come across because it's so smooth. There isn't any of that kind of um, powderiness to it or anything. There isn't any of that kind of like thick SPF, mineral SPF feeling to it. It's really, really smooth. So I really enjoy using this like on my neck and my chest. I'll throw it on my forearms, especially before I'm about to walk the dog. I usually have short sleeves on, so I'll just like throw some onto my forearms, my hands, and I really love the texture of it. It's really, really nice for a mineral sunscreen. So these are the two newest products from Necessaire. And again, they're part of the daily treatment, which is 
a set, which also includes the body lotion and the body serum. It's valued at $165, but the daily treatment set is actually $120, which is a fantastic savings. And I also have a coupon code for you, which is Wang, W-A-N-G 10. I'll put it on the screen as well, but that'll give you 10% off site-wide. And a big thank you to Necessaire for sending me their new products. I am just loving them and sending over their lotion and their serum, the whole daily treatment. Um, a big, big thank you to them. So let's go ahead and see what else I have for you in this haul. Okay, you guys, I could not resist. I couldn't resist. I placed an order on Sephora because on my last Sephora try on haul, I tried on so many incredible things that I just had to get like the rest of the shades that would work for me. So I ordered three more of the RMS blushes. That's just two of them. Here's the third one. And then I ordered another shade of the House Labs highlighter. And I also ordered another shade of the Merit Beauty Signature Lightweight Lipstick. All right, so first, oh, wow. Wow. Okay, I got Mai Tai from RMS Beauty. And these are the Redimension Hydra Powder Blushes in case you, well, in case you haven't seen anyone talk about these. I can't imagine that because everyone's been talking about these. But also if you missed my last uh, try on haul. Wow, these are gorgeous. Here is Mai Tai. Woo. Look at that golden sheen. I also picked up pomegranate fizz and I actually just saw someone comment on that video. They were like, I got pomegranate fizz. You have to get that, it's so beautiful. So here is pomegranate fizz. Look at that. Ooh, it's like a pinky red. Wow. Oh my God, these are gorgeous. And then I picked up sangria. Here is sangria. Oh my goodness. This looks like a little bit of a bronzier version of that Maiden's blush that I picked up last time. Ooh, that's beautiful. Wow, okay, so those are the three RMS blushes that I picked up, I, I just couldn't resist. And then the House Labs, in my last uh, try on haul, I picked up Peach Quartz, and this time I picked up Sunstone. So here's the packaging, it has that really fun, like holographic effect on the outer packaging and here is sunstone this looks just a teensy bit lighter than the peach quartz hold on i think i have it out here because i put it on today that's what i have on my cheeks let's see peach quartz yeah it's just a hint peachier so this one is peach quartz and this one is sunstone so sunstone is like a little bit more neutral peach quartz has that like warmth in there but they're very, very close. Ooh, I'm glad I have both. Okay, so that is from House Labs. And then uh, Millennial is the color that I got in the Merit Signature lipstick. I have Slip and I have 1990, and those are both uh, like in the brown family. And this one, I believe, is more pink. Yes, here is Millennial. I was actually surprised that this was in stock because, um, yeah, these colors have been hard to get. So there is... Millennial, ooh, pretty, pretty pink. Ah, oh, I'm so excited, <laughs> so, so excited that I picked up more. So that was what I got from Sephora. And then I placed an order on Guerlain and I placed this order quite some time ago. They came out with brand new eyeshadow quads. And as soon as I saw that they were available, I went onto the site, I picked out three of them, which I'll show and swatch for you in just a second. But they've since like, disappeared. They're not on the site. I haven't seen them pop up on any other retailers. I don't know what's going on with this, which is why I haven't done a video dedicated to these quads yet, because I, I, I'm like, are they just completely sold out? Are they not coming back? <laughs> Was it limited edition? Like, I, I don't have a lot of information on these, um, but I did want to show you which ones I did purchase. And then eventually, hopefully I'll do a video uh, just kind of dedicated to them. So they did all come packaged in this beautiful gift box. I think I'll be holding onto this. It's so pretty. It has the B right here embossed. I don't know if you guys can see it. And then Guerlain in gold. And then here is the box packaging that it comes in. So I guess they're called the Ombre G. And I believe, I believe that's what the Guerlain quads were called before. I am not that familiar with girl on makeup other than like the meteorites and some of the other things that they've come out with like surrounding the meteorites line but i have never ever had any of their eyeshadows i don't believe yeah i don't think i've ever had any of their eyeshadows i do have uh some like lip products 
but I just never try them. And then I heard that they were coming out with new ones, so then I like held off. Anyway, um, that's the box that they come in. They also have a velvet pouch for each one. And let's start with this one. This one is Royal Jungle. So here is the packaging, really shiny gold that picks up every single fingerprint. And then it has this like front lip that lifts up and snaps closed. So it's not magnetic, it's a snap. And here is Royal Jungle. So this one is 940, number 940. And what really caught my eye about these quads is that they're all baked gelée shadows. So of course I could not be more excited for these. Uh, but anyway, here are the swatches for Royal Jungle. So I just went around um, clockwise from top left. And this really dark one down here in the bottom left-hand corner, let me just show you in the quad this guy. I was a little intimidated by that, but when I swatched it, it's a little bit uh, like kind of lightly pigmented, which is really nice because it gives you this smoky effect. Really pretty. Um, so that is Royal Jungle. The next one I picked up is called Imperial Moon. Is that not incredible? Look at the shade down here. Oof, so gorgeous. And here are the swatches for Imperial Moon. There's that shade that I pointed out. Isn't that so gorgeous? It's like, it has just a hint, 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 hint of lilac, but it's kind of peachy too. But it's also cool toned. It's really, really unique and really beautiful. So that's Imperial Moon, these four right here. This one, this one, this one, and this one. And then last but not least, I decided to go with Metal Butterfly, which is a little bit out of my comfort zone because it's got those uh, bright shades over here on the right-hand side. But they had another quad that had like blues and greens in there. And I thought, I think I would probably wear these shades a little bit more. I don't know, we'll see. But I did think it looked very pretty, like as a color story. So here is Metal Butterfly swatched. Look at that gold. Very foily, very, very foily, super pretty. So those are the three quads that I got from Guerlain and I will let you know as soon as I see them pop up anywhere else, um, I'll probably post something on Instagram once they become available to purchase. I really don't know what happened to them. They literally just disappeared off of the site. There's no listing of them showing all the shades are sold out or any, nothing, it's just gone. So anyway, I will make a video on these as soon as they're available and let you know on Instagram. And then I made a couple purchases at Victoria Beckham Beauty. She has come out with quite a few, well, one new product and then quite a few like shade extensions. So I don't know which one this is, let's see. This is, ah. Yeah, I purchased um, her two new Cheeky Posh cream blush sticks and then one new shade from her High Shine lip gloss. And then I did purchase the highlighter stick. So this is like the new, brand new product to her line. And apparently I pur purchased the eyeliner in olive. I like vaguely remember thinking I needed more of her eyeliners. Um, so I did purchase olive. Anyway, let's go ahead and unbox these and do some swatches. So let's start with the new Cheeky Posh cream blush stick shades. So she came out with two new ones and I got both. Uh, one is Fever, which is, you know, just a complete no brainer for me. That is such a beautiful cheek and lip shade. I'll probably use it for both. And then the other shade is called Fame. And Fame is more of like a mauve deep shade, which I do really love. I actually talked about this shade in particular in my um, video that I posted, I think on Sunday, it was all about my blush collection. And um, I used to only purchase blushes in this shade. Isn't that funny? <laughs> considering the number of blushes and variety of shades that I have now. But yeah, I used to just only enjoy this sort of cool toned mauve shade for blushes. So anyway, I had to pick this up, of course. Uh, and that's the shade Fame. And then let's check out this new highlight. So I think there's only one shade at the moment, but she does name it Pearl. And I'm really excited to look at this packaging because it just looks really beautiful. Oh, yes. That is gorgeous. It has a little bit of ribbing, <laughs> ribbing, I guess you could call it, along the sides, fluting. Um, and then there's like a white VB on the top. And then, oh, wow. First of all, it is slanted, which is so cool. It's like a lipstick. 
Um, and it has like a light fleshy kind of tone to it. Ooh, that looks beautiful. Nice and glossy. I'm gonna have to compare this to the Westman Atelier Nectar. I think it's a little bit less peachy than that even. This one has just a little bit more of like a pearly kind of sheen to it. Ooh, stunning. This shade just, it kind of just reminds me of lingerie for some reason, like lacy lingerie. And then the Posh Gloss that I picked up, she came out with a bunch of new shades. I just picked up Bungalow and, ah yes. I liked it because it was kind of this brightish pink and all of the lip glosses I have from Victoria Beckham are of the nude family. It was that first release that she came out with and then it seems like she's kind of expanding on that. So I just wanted to get something that was like a bright uh, kind of neutral pink color. And well, it's not very neutral. I think it has a little, a little bit of peach in there, but it's very, very pretty. And then uh, let's take a look at this Satin Kajal liner. As you guys know, I just love the formula of these liners and um, couldn't believe that I did not have this olive color. So I wanted to see how bright the green was. Oh, not bright at all. And in fact, it's like a forest green. I'm trying to decide whether or not it has like a metallic kind of sheen to it. Maybe a little bit, like a satin sheen to it. Ooh, that is really beautiful. Oh, I love that. All right, Sephora, Guerlain, Victoria Beckham. I believe that's all I purchased myself. Let me just go ahead and show you some of the things that I've received in PR. Okay, first things first, I got this. I put this on Instagram stories, but I thought I would show you guys here on YouTube. This massive, it's so heavy too. This massive, incredibly beautiful, it doesn't even fit in the frame, box from Valentino. It is this, long. <laughs> Let me see if I can open it up and show you what's inside. It's really heavy. Okay. There are five, I'm going to stand up. There are five lipsticks in here. And then there is a card showing you five gowns, five Valentino gowns that were used as inspiration for these five red lipsticks. Now, when I received this PR package, all the cards had been kind of like mixed up, so I'm not exactly sure which color goes with which dress because it doesn't say on the back of the card. On the back of the card, it talks about the actual dress, which is wonderful. It tells you like what season it's from. Like this is from spring, summer, 2019, but I don't know which like red it inspired. Um, so no matter. Anyway, let me just show you the five reds here. My God, they're so beautiful. I mean, you know, you can't beat Valentino and the reds. So this one is a matte lipstick and it is shade 111A Undressed Velvet. So here is Undressed Velvet. Beautiful, it's like a very cool toned red. It's actually a very interesting red. There's like a lot of pink in there, but then like you see a little bit of terracotta too. It's really beautiful and it does have a matte finish. Here is another matte finish red so beautiful the shade for this is 219a star studded this one is another matte and this one is the rosso valentino red and it is 22a you can see this is like a very primary kind of red it's like a little bit of blue in there and then here's the same color but in the satin finish so here's matte here's satin for the Rosso Valentino. And here is Ethereal Red, which has a little bit of like a brick burnt kind of terracotta-ness to it. So this is um, a warmer kind of red. So those are the five Valentino Reds that they sent over. Aren't they so beautiful? Beautiful, beautiful. And while we're at it, let me just show you these cards because I know you guys are probably interested in these gowns. This one is from Fall Winter 21. This one is from Spring Summer 19. I think this one's my favorite. This is from Spring Summer 17. And this one's from Spring Summer 19. Amazing, right? So a huge thank you to Valentino Beauty for this gift. It is really, really, really lovely. Very, very special. I was very floored <laughs> when I opened up this box. I also received a very lovely gift from I like to call her the lipstick queen, but her name is Poppy King, and you probably know her as the creative director behind 
Lipstick Queen. So since Lipstick Queen, she started Femme de Poppy. I bought those three lipsticks. It was only sold at Barney's. Barney's was defunct. So anyway, she has come back and she's starting her own lipstick line and she is launching with this incredible shade. Now, it's not available yet. It will be available soon and I'll have more information for you. So this line from Poppy is called Lip Centric and you won't believe how incredible this is. So this one is called Silver Bullet, the shade. Oh, let me show you the packaging. So here is the packaging and no magnetic here, nice, simple snap closure. And I've worn it already, so it looks a little bit messy at the top, but it looks silver and it is one of those color changing ones. If you guys are familiar with Lipstick Queen, <laughs> you know um, how much we love the color changing lipsticks. But look at this lipstick. It looks like one of those make-believe like dragonfly wings, doesn't it? It has that beautiful like silver crystal to it. And then it just turns this like beautiful pink, like a really bright pink. And I know a lot of like color changing lipsticks, they always change to that kind of like uh, mauve pink color. This is completely different. It's like this really, really fun pink shade. So again, more information to come, but I just wanted to show you how cool this shade is. Isn't that so pretty? And it's fun without it feeling like, I don't know, like I'm too old for it or anything. Like I think it's a very chic kind of fun lipstick, which I think is a really hard combination to find. Gorgeous. And a big, big thank you to Poppy for sending this over to me. So I just can't, I can't like take my eyes off away from like the silver on the pink. It's just, yeah, it's so cool. So, so pretty. Next up, I got a box from Laura Mercier. Very, very exciting. And this is their Rose Glow Collection. And if you guys uh, saw, I don't know, one of my previous videos, I actually purchased two of these Rose Glow Blush Color Infusions. I got like all that sparkles and pink, peach fizz or something. Uh, but anyway, love them. Yes, all that sparkles. And oh, Rose Glow, that's the highlighting powder and peach shimmer. So I have both of these blush color infusions. I'm not gonna open them up. I will probably give them away. Um, the Rose Glow is this one. I think I may have this one as well. I think I may have this one as well. So I'm just gonna <laughs> close that ever so carefully and put this back in the box and I'll be able to give these away. Um, but they also included two of the Caviar Stick eye colors. Let's see, one is in Wild Rose and one is in Rose Thorn. So here is Wild Rose and this is Rose Thorn. Sorry, I swatched them again because that was all the way on the wrong side of my arm. Uh, Wild Rose, Rose Thorn. Isn't that pretty? This one has like, it's brown, but there's a little bit of purple in there. Really pretty. So those are the two caviar sticks. And then there was something else in this box which, oh my gosh, I believe it's a little bottle of rosé champagne. Ooh, look at that, fun. Wow, thank you so much, Laura Mercier. This is amazing. Next, I have a box from Sydney Grace. Oh, Christmas in July sale, July 21st to August 1st. And here are the daily deals that are gonna go on. Oh, that's very exciting. Um, and then I guess they sent me, yeah, it looks like they sent me, wow, a whole bunch of stuff. They sent me one of their makeup bags, really beautiful, like Christmas ruby red with, ah, some of their singles in here. This looks like maybe a lip gloss or a liquid lipstick. And then it looks like maybe they sent me some um, palettes. This is the California Coast palette in light. Wow, excuse me. Look at this nine pan palette. That is gorgeous. They also sent the California Coast in deep. I can see some deeper shades here. Beautiful. And then they also sent the Mountain Trail palette. Ooh, oh my God, you guys know how much I love greens. Wow, those look beautiful. I have to swatch this one. Ooh, look at that. All of those Valentino red lipsticks gonna stain my hand but that color is gorgeous. Wow. Well, thank you so, so much, Sydney Grace. And don't forget, July 25th to August 1st, new deal every day at 9 a.m. Pacific. 
time. And here again are the daily specials. I also saw her post this to the Sydney Grace um, Instagram account if you're interested. And that is it. That is it for my haul. Thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. A big thank you to Nessa Sarah for working with me on this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.